In this video, I'm going to show you the best way of delegating work. Usually, we delegate by sending a mail, but that's a bad idea. You know why. How will you monitor? You'll go to sent items and search for that person's name. Doesn't work. Maybe you create a separate Excel file for that. That also doesn't work properly because Excel is not going to give you reminders. If you use the wrong tool in the wrong place and expect the right results, it's not going to work. So let's use the right feature in the right place. And the correct place is not in box. If you want to delegate work to someone, you have to use the task folder. So let's see this in action. To simplify this, I have divided the screen into two parts. Left side is boss, right side is assistant. Keep that in mind. I am going to go to task folder. Task folder is like this here. If you have older version of Outlook, it will be at the bottom somewhere. If you can't find the task icon at all, press Ctrl 4. When you go to the task folder, what you see may not be the task folder. So make sure you are not in the to-do list. You are in the actual task folder. All right. Now here you can add tasks for yourself and also for others. Just put a task, then put a deadline. Done. Press enter. That's my task. But I want to delegate work. So what do you do? You go to the new task button. So write the task first, put a deadline, and most important, click on the assign task button. Now, this is the important part. I want to specify the name of the person who is actually going to do it. Put one person's name. Don't put two people's name. Then you are giving both of them an excuse saying, I thought the other guy is doing. Don't do that. Similarly, if two different people are supposed to submit competitor analysis, send two separate tasks because execution is all about accountability. And when I click on the send button, let's see what happens. On this side, this assistant. Assistant got a task request, as you can see here. Open this. I am getting an accept or decline button. Now, if you want to do this, accept it. If you don't want to do it, sure, you can decline as well. But make sure you put a response so that the other person knows why you declare. But in this case, I'm going to accept it. Accept. Boss got a mail that the task is accepted. Even if boss has sent a task to me and I have not even acted on it, I have not even clicked open it, even then it is better from boss's point of view. Because when I go to the task folder of boss, notice what is happening. Boss can see this task is delegated. Three kinds of icons. This is my work. This is work delegated by me to others. And this is work delegated for to me by others. On this side, assistant actually finishes the job. Assistant comes to the task folder and says it is complete. And then on the other side, something should happen. Notice as we speak, this got marked as complete. But now boss is not looking at it 24 hours a day. Because boss will receive a mail. Another notification saying task is completed. If I wanted to, I could have said 30% of work is done. That's also okay. And say save and close. So boss can also see partial completion. Because I'm going to use this for delegation very often, I also need to know what work I've given to people. Is it done or not? And who are the people? Now here I can see delegated work, but it is getting mixed up with my work and work which is given to me by someone. When I'm monitoring my delegation, I don't want that clutter. I go to the view tab and say change view. And there's a special view called assigned view. It groups it by person. And now I can see that one task is pending, one task is done. Simple, easy and effective. Also remember, if A delegates to B, B can delegate to C, D and so on. When D marks it as complete, everyone above in the chain will be notified. Try it out, play with it with your colleagues, get the confidence and start using it. And before you go, I also have two very popular videos about how to manage your calendar. Have a look at them as well. So that's it for now. Thank you.